What's up? It's DJ Buster B. I finally got a digital amp. I sold my PV1200, one of my older amps. So as you see here in this stack of amps, you won't see the PV1200 anymore. I still have a EP2000 Behringer, American Audio VOP1500, and this cheap gym sound amp that I just use for like cookouts at home and everything. But the new amp that I got, it's the iNuke series by Behringer. This is the iNuke NU3000. It's hard to believe this amp only weighs seven pounds. Very light. This thing puts out uh, two channels, 1,500 watts at two ohms and 880 watts times two at four ohms or you can bridge it to four ohms and get 3,000 watts. And you see right here, it's only seven pounds. A little bit less than seven pounds. And it's class D. This thing only pulls about 300 watts if you bridge it to four ohms. So it doesn't pull hardly any power compared to these old amps right here. They pull like 1,500 watts each. So you need separate circuits if you're gonna use them at a the gig. But I'm gonna hook this thing up, see how it sounds. You see on the back is, you just got your speak on outputs, uh, quarter inch or XLR inputs. And basically it has like a crossover for full range and stuff like that. Just bridge, stereo, that's it, cooling fan. And it had some good input by a guy by the name of Vitaly with Firestorm Records on YouTube. He did a video review of the NU3000 and it helped me make my decision to pick up this amp. He had some good results, playing at a few gigs and sounded great. Shot him a couple emails, he responded real quick and helped me make my, my decision. So next clip, I'm gonna hook this thing up to my 218s right here, my subs. And I'll probably hook it up to one of my PV215 speakers right here. Might plug it into the SP2Gs, but I'm not trying to get too loud because it's like, 8:35 at night and i'm not trying to wake the neighbors up next door because it gets real loud if any if i crank it up but check it out next clip i'm gonna hook this thing up see how it sounds all right i got everything hooked up and i'm just basically running the mp3 player with my newmark m2 mixer just going right into the amp just with a quarter inch plug and sorry about the mess i'm always working on somebody's computer or somebody's electronic stuff and it always needs repairs but um i basically got my subs hooked up in parallel bridge down to four ohms and right now, the way how this camera records, you probably won't get too much good audio out of here because it's just all bass. But next clip, I'll hook up the 1PV215. But as right now, I'm just going to hit play and see how this thing sounds. Uh, you might hear the highs a little bit trying to filter through the sub. But the bass, the bass is hitting right now. I'm going to crank it up a little bit. clip was with my subs and you probably could barely hear me talk on this camera because the bass was just drowning everything out the walls are in here just shaking off those 218s right now I got one PV215 hooked up and since this is a 4 ohm cabinet the amp is still bridged for 4 ohms just hooked up one side of it and that's it so now I'm about to hit play and see how this thing sounds <laughs> cranking.
that is barely cranking this amp. And it sounds like I'm, I could just rip through these PV215s right now. Of course, it's kicking 3,000 watts, and these things aren't even rated at 3,000 watts, but this thing is kicking. I'm gonna do some more tests on it as far as cranking these subs to see how long I could, how hard I could crank it before I have a problem or if anything shuts down or the fan revs up. So I'll do some more testing, but that is the Behringer Anuk NU3000. Hope this video helps some other guys decide if you want to get this amp. So practice and enjoy. All right, after cranking my subs for about maybe three minutes hard in here, I mean, the walls, stuff was just coming down. I know my neighbors got it here next door. But uh, I cranked it for about three or four minutes hard, and the fan does rev up when the bass hits real hard. It just slowly revs up. But then when you turn it down, it revs slowly down. But so far, I didn't get any clipping or anything, and it's not pulling that much power because my lights in the ceiling were barely... Usually, if I crank one of these other amps, on bass in here, my lights actually blink with the bass because it's only 15 or 20 amp circuits. This one cranked it up, lights didn't even dim. So it lets you know it's only pulling like 360 watts max at 4 ohms. So this thing does seem like it's doing pretty good. I want to thank Vitaly with uh, Firestorm Records again for his review because that helped me out. Because I read a few reviews on ZZSounds.com. It's only a couple on there and one guy said this stuff was clipping out, wasn't sounding good, but another guy said it was great. Vitaly said his was great. So, so far, my touch is also good. I'm gonna try to use this on a gig next month in December at a Christmas party and see how it does, how it works out. So, now I can say practice and enjoy because I'm done with this video.